Make sure you check out part one where we have covered the basics of stances, punches, blocks, and kicks for the Chinese martial art long fist. Alright, so we will start with Inami-san's demonstration of 24 form. Let's start with the basics. First, we're going to be talking about how to get the arm up. You, you don't want to get tense. You want your arm to be very long from the center of your body and keeping that hand away from the body, you want to get it up. So you don't, you don't need to tense up your body. You can be relaxed like she is right now. And from there, you're going to get the arm out. And you breathe in. And once the wrist reaches the height of the shoulder, you go all the way down to the front of your groin. Make sure you have your hand long and down. Keep it long when you go down as well. Another point is I am tensing up my wrist area. So there is no need for you to tense up the surface. You just want to have that line in the inner muscle and the outer muscle are all relaxed. So that one is a little bit better than before. Okay, now onto the detailed tutorial. First, the posture is straight, shoulder down, and hands on the side. No need to tense up. The elbow is slightly bent. From there, slowly, you're gonna step out with the left leg to the width of your shoulder. As the heel gets on the ground, you're gonna lift the hand up. And then as you breathe out, you bend the knee a little bit and bring the hand down. Once the hand reaches around the groin, you're going to move the weight to the right leg, make a circle, and step out with the left. And the gombu that we practiced in the last video will be done here. Some of the key points are, unlike karate, we don't slide the leg. They get it from the heel down. So it was very similar to your back stance movement, keeping the weight at the back. And the timing of when you rotate the back leg is after the leg lands, you slide it open and you use that energy to rotate your body. That's very similar to our gyakuzuki motion. Next, you're gonna move back the leg open up to the side, get the weight on the left hand, make a circle, and do the same motion on the other side. Guys, this seems maybe simple to you, but being able to execute everything perfectly at this speed is super hard. When you go too hard, I mean too fast, you, you don't really pay attention to the small details. You're repeating the movement again. And the fingertip faces um, up. And this motion is very interesting. 
You bring one hand up and the other down. The motion has to be synchronized completely. So if you move one millimeter up, you gotta bring one millimeter down. That looks like the motion from MP. So you want to keep the wrist straight and out. Now continuing, you're gonna step in halfway and see how that's slow too. That's crazy. And then you bring the weight to the back. Prepare the arm. Bring the left arm down, left leg up from the toe this time. So this is like a wadoryu kokutsudachi or nekoashidachi. From there, you're gonna bring the arm down, block with the left. I'm blocking the other way around. So from the outside to the inside, and push forward with the right. That gradual movement. Guys, if you do this, your karate is going to improve for sure. We're going to now continue with this movement. So swipe, left hand up, or back hand up, and push. See, I am doing the suriyashi, so you have to go from the heel. One more time, weight at the back. And guys, if you'd like to see more of these videos, then please check out Inami-san's um, social media from the link in the description box. She offers online lessons too, so why don't you check that out too. That's, an, that's also a pull-push motion happening at the same time. And... That looks like a very, that's a very Chinese stance. Also, to prepare myself for this wonderful Tai Chi experience, I have watched a couple of videos online, including YouTube and Skillshare, which has helped me a lot. If you don't know Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning platform where they offer a variety of classes for anybody to choose from, including martial artists. Personally, since I had no idea what Tai Chi was about, I have taken this introduction to Tai Chi flows with Heng Ni class, which has given me an overview of what Tai Chi is and what to expect from my class with Inami-san. Unlike the videos on social media, Skillshare has a variety of videos that are very long. So if you're the person that's looking for a longer video that you can follow along with, then I heavily recommend Skillshare. The sign up link is in the description below. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's go back to the episode. So I'm asking whether you move to the side a lot, and her answer was yes, in traditional Tai Chi um, katas or forms, you move to the side more. You know, that's very similar because Tekki or Nai Hanchi, we move to the side, right? And that's our basic kata, so maybe there's a historical relationship between those. If you guys know the relationship between Nai Hanchi and the Chinese martial arts, please let me know. Now I'm going to be giving a try, all of it. So enjoy. Kata はい、分けてですよ。はい、下がって、つま先45度。当てる。ボール持って出す。分けて。はい、半分寄せて、ちっちゃいボール持ちます。右手下に入れて。そう。後ろ足乗りながら両手耳の横。はい、下に下ろして
半分寄せてまた右手引きながら左手前かかとを置きます Okay. So, guys, if you like the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel from down here. If you like to see more of these karate and other martial arts collaboration videos, then please check these out. And I will see you guys in the next video.